Thousands of people have used these therapeutic methods and avoided joint replacement surgery. We have an important video ahead, stay with us. Hello to all of you. I'm Fershta Esfadani, a researcher and international healthy lifestyle consultant. Worried about your damaged joints? This video reveals practical strategies for healing a variety of cartilage injuries and promoting natural restoration. And it addresses the factors that contribute to the cartilage breakdown. Because I want to share two formulas with you, the ones that thousands of people have used, including a 70-year-old woman with damaged joint who needed joint replacement and benefited from this method, and now she walks without pain. Cartilage is a resilient and smooth type of connective tissue, preventing joints from experiencing friction. It enables smooth and flexible movement. However, at times, these cartilages undergo wear and tear due to various factors. Knowing these factors is crucial. In other words, we need to identify the obstacles first, understand what they are, and then consider substances that promote cartilage formation. It's natural for cartilage to lose some thickness after a certain age. However, unfortunately, we now observe children experiencing joint sounds when walking. Or, at a young age, back pain, knee pain, osteoarthritis. All of these result from the wear and tear of cartilage. So, age doesn't define it anymore because, in general, lifestyle has undergone a change. It's important to understand why this is happening if we want to maintain an upright posture and avoid bone pain. To prevent our joints from experiencing friction and ensure our well-being, we must understand the factors that lead to the loss and thinning of cartilage. But above all, we need to believe that our body has ability to self-heal, and all we have to do is activate the self-healing system to facilitate the recovery process. With this method, thousands of people have successfully avoided the complications of surgery and joint replacement, saving themselves a lot of money and achieving the desired outcome. Firstly, we need to believe that our body has a built-in healing system, just like a wound on the skin heals itself. Inside the body, it's the same, all the cells in our body are in the process of renewal. Each cell has its own life cycle, and when they become worn out and aged, new cells replace them. However, most often, mentally, we don't give ourselves permission to believe that we can heal, and we say, can it really happen? I'm already 60. I'm already 70. How can this be possible? A 70-year-old woman went from struggling to pain-free thanks to these easy tips that I will share with you in this video. You could be next. So, let's not block the way with our doubts. Never say never. We have a healing system. Causes of cartilage damage. What are the obstacles? What are the reasons? What causes cartilage to deteriorate? The first cause is stress and anxiety. Under sustained stress, our digestive system can produce elevated levels of stomach acid. It can reach to almost 2 liters. While this acid circulates throughout the body, it can contribute to an overall acidic environment, and wherever it reaches, causes damage. This highlights the importance of identifying factors that promote acidity, including certain foods and stress management techniques. The analogy is similar to a plant that has the potential for growth. We know that if that plant is properly taken care of, it has the ability to grow, and it's entirely natural for the plant to thrive. If we add acid to the soil of a healthy growing plant, its growth would be halted, and it could eventually perish. Just as a plant's growth is stunted by acidic soil, our body's ability to function optimally is compromised when our blood becomes excessively acidic. We shouldn't engage in activities that lead to acidic blood. And we need to identify the causes. The first one is excessive stress, and the second is constipation, which is often considered the mother of all diseases. When individuals have constipation, the buildup of waste in the intestines can lead to the reabsorption of certain substances that are normally eliminated. This can disrupt the body's natural detoxification processes and potentially contribute to the production of harmful byproducts, and it leads to the secretion of ptomaine poison, which is really dangerous. The third factor is dietary substances that contribute to an acidic environment in the body, such as refined vegetable oils that appear to be plant-based but in fact they are industrial oils used in machinery. So, they are non-edible and not suitable for consumption. Also, highly processed foods, especially dairy products. These foods often contain artificial ingredients, 
preservatives, and other substances that can disrupt the body's natural pH balance. It acidifies the blood environment and affects the kidneys. There is no time to delve into these details right now, but there is a video explaining why shouldn't we consume yogurt. You can watch it by clicking on the provided link. And why we shouldn't use dairy products nowadays. Also, suitable substitutes are mentioned in this video. Freezing can cause loss of nutrients and minerals. Consuming frozen food can hinder the production of healthy blood. Consuming excessive pickles, tea, and coffee are all factors that acidify the blood. To counteract this, we can opt for hydrating and alkalizing alternatives that promote healthy blood pH levels. Apple quince tea is an excellent choice. Additionally, moderate consumption of herbal teas like orange blossom tea and lemon verbena tea can be used instead of tea and coffee. Chicken and beef are among the factors that alter blood pH. They produce a high amount of lactic acid in the body, leading to cold and acidic blood from the perspective of Iranian traditional medicine and Avicenna's medicine. The common point between excessive stress and foods that acidify the blood is that they alter the pH, leading to cartilage wear and thinning and reducing its thickness. Moving on to treatment, now we will focus on providing the body with the necessary materials to enable its healing system to rebuild cartilage. These materials, primarily salts and minerals, act as essential nutrients that support cartilage repair. As cartilage lacks nerves, it often takes a while for individuals to notice any issues. However, with preventive measures like providing the body with adequate micronutrients, we can proactively support cartilage health and minimize the risk of damage. As mentioned earlier in the video, there are subtle signs that can indicate cartilage damage. These signs may include a clicking or popping sound when walking, particularly when ascending stairs. Individuals may also experience pain and weakness in their knees, ankles, or other joints. These mild signs serve as early warning alerts that the cartilage might be susceptible to damage. However, they haven't reached a severe stage yet, making them highly treatable with prompt intervention. To effectively reconstruct cartilage, a combination of essential minerals, such as magnesium, calcium, potassium, zinc, and manganese and vitamin D and C, is crucial. These nutrients work together like interlocking pieces, each contributing to the overall process. For instance, magnesium is indispensable for activating vitamin D. Interestingly, some individuals may have adequate vitamin D intake but still experience cartilage issues due to insufficient magnesium levels, rendering vitamin D inactive within their bodies. To address this magnesium deficiency, you should have adequate intake of magnesium. Dried figs are a treasure trove of magnesium containing a remarkable array of minerals, including calcium, potassium, zinc, and virtually every other mineral you can think of. In fact, dried figs boast significantly higher levels of minerals compared to fresh ones. To effectively replenish cartilage, I recommend incorporating a simple yet powerful formula into your diet. This formula, comprising 5 dried figs, 5 olives, 3 dates, and 5 jujubes, provides an abundance of essential minerals and vitamins that aid in cartilage repair. The careful arrangement of these ingredients ensures that all the nutrients are effectively delivered to your body, supporting cartilage health and overall well-being. This formula is also remarkably balanced in its temperament, striking a harmonious equilibrium between warming and cooling properties, making it suitable for individuals of all ages and temperaments. Another well-known and effective formula for cartilage repair is the 123 formula. This simple yet powerful combination consists of one cask, a traditional fermented sheep yogurt, two walnuts, and three dates. If you're unfamiliar with cask, you can substitute it with a tablespoon of plain sheep yogurt. This formula provides a synergistic blend of nutrients, including vitamin D, calcium, potassium, and phosphorus. In other words, everything that is needed for building cartilage and bones is provided by this formula. To ensure a comprehensive intake of essential nutrients for cartilage repair, consider incorporating a mix of four nuts, almonds, walnuts, pistachios, and hazelnuts, into your daily diet. While each of these is excellent on its own, diversifying your choices can maximize your overall intake. Aim for a moderate portion to reap their full benefits. This balanced combination provides a wealth of minerals. Additionally, oats are a remarkable source of various vitamins, particularly B vitamins that play a vital role in blood formation and the repair and reconstruction of tissues, 
including cartilage. While olive oil is rich in vitamin E and omega-3, it is not sufficient as the sole source of omega-3 fatty acids. To ensure adequate omega-3 intake, it's essential to incorporate fish into your diet at least once a week. Choose fish like sardines, which are pelagic fish found in open seas. When preparing fish, follow these guidelines. Use fragrant herbs to enhance the flavor, incorporate warm temperament vegetables to balance the coolness of the fish, and cook it with organic oil to reap the full nutritional benefits. If you choose to pair fish with rice, add dried dill or other warm herbs to counterbalance the temperament of rice. After consuming fish, it's highly beneficial to eat three dates, which aid in the absorption of vitamin D and help regulate the cooling effects of fish. Before delving into two gelatinous foods, I'd like to encourage you to hit the like button. Your likes help these videos reach a wider audience. Cartilage, much like the gelatinous substance found in chicken feet and mutton trotters, is soft and pliable. These foods, with their gelatinous consistency, provide a direct source of nutrients that support cartilage repair. Chicken feet, a particularly wise choice, are free of lactic acid, unlike chicken meat, which can cause digestive issues. Twice a week, incorporate 2 to 3 tablespoons of fully cooked chicken feet into your diet. You can add them to soups or any other way you prefer. Mutton trotters offer similar benefits, but they should be avoided if you have high blood fat levels. For those without blood fat concerns, a mutton trotter and oat soup, consumed once or twice a week, can be a nutritious and flavorful addition to your diet. Restoring cartilage health is a process that requires patience and dedication. Treatment period can range from 1 to 3 months. With a well-planned diet and a positive attitude, as well as a healthy lifestyle, you can gradually regain joint function and mobility. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll keep bringing you valuable health information. We had a successful performance by addressing the cause of diseases. Value your health, and always stay vibrant and energetic.